These are going to be the bearing housings for the milling head. Uh, they're 70-75 aluminium. Uh, they're 100 mil diameter. Uh, bar ends. They're, they're rough sawn and they're far from being square. So I need to get them squared up. Once I've got them squared up, I can take out uh, quite a lot of the centre. Um, I don't want... Well, I could. I could very easily just chuck a boring bar in and just bore them out to, to the size that I want. Um, but I'd actually quite like to keep some of the material. So what's going to happen is I'll square these off, all of them. Um, I will set them up in the fore jaw because I don't have a lot of a lot of slack on the uh, on the dimensions here. I've got no slack at all on the dimensions, to be perfectly honest. Um, and I will drill them to eight mil, and then I'm going to core the centre out with uh, with hole saws um, of the relevant diameters. So the one that's going to take the big bearing, I'll core out with a 68, and the others I'll do with a 40. Um, that way, maybe we'll get to keep a bit of stock. So I'm going to get on with that. Um, the uh, the turning and uh, turning video here is very loud because of my rotary converter. So we're going to go into time lapse mode. I'll see you later. Well, nice idea, but uh, I think we're going to have to change tack slightly. God, I hate I hate aluminium. Horrible, stringy, sticky, bollocky stuff it is. Um, I've managed to get in how far? All of six millimeters, um, quarter of a millimeter at a time, pretty much. Um, it's cutting. It's cutting fine but it won't evacuate chips. I think I am going to need to grind myself a trepanning tool, um, which is going to be fun. It's going to have to go in quite deep. This is a, uh, this is a piece of 2mm 2x8 high-speed steel. It's a cut-off tool, if I can keep it in focus. Made a fairly aggressive rake on the front talking about aluminium after all, it's actually lost a bit of its edge and on the other side uh, basically I ground a fairly circular sort of relief and you can see the profile of it there I think, yeah that looks, uh, you can see the profile reasonably well there so that it doesn't rub on the outside of the, on the outside of the on the outside of the, the, uh, the, uh, the trepan that we're cutting so there you go. That was, uh, yeah, it was I did it totally by eye. Um, first first version was rubbing. Um, you could see, you could see where it's rubbing. Uh, it was it was here. here come on. Uh, what's going on here? Yeah, exposure's just gone a bit funky. Uh, you could see that it was rubbing here. Um, so ground a bit more off, and uh, that seems to have done the job reasonably well. Right. So uh, we have panning tool made. It's uh, taken out of a piece of uh, two millimeter, two millimeter cut-off tool, and it vibrates like a motherfucker. But it's going in. Um, apologies for the noise because uh, it's going to be a rotary phase converter time, so this is going to make an awful lot of noise. But you'll see what's going on. Maybe. <laughs>
and there we go. I believe the word. I believe the word is Yotzich. <laughs>